Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Java object. So object is one of the main concept under OOPS. Okay. So object oriented programming language from the naming itself. You can see that, right? So Java is a object oriented programming language. It means that object is playing the main role in Java language. Okay. So what is object and what is the use of object actually? Let's see in this video. Okay. So basically what is object? What is the definition you can provide when somebody is asking? Okay. Object is an instance of a class. Okay. So what it means actually? So for example, you are having class. Okay. You have a couple of features available in your class. Okay. If you want to use the features, you should create the object. With the help of object only, you can use those features. Okay. So that is the main advantage with the help of object. Without object, you cannot do anything. If you have a couple of features, but you don't have objects, you cannot use the class basically. Okay. So object is the main picture. So let's see a small example how this object is playing a main role in the uh, methods or functions, whatever is available in the class. Okay. Let's jump into the Eclipse and I will show you that. Okay. So if you see this class, I already created on class basically. Okay. So this class having two methods basically. So when you are seeing the screen itself, you come to know that the class having two methods, right? So the method one is called add and another method is called sub. So what basically these methods will do, if I give two numbers, it will add it out and it will give the result to me. If I give the two numbers again inside this sub method, it will just subtract it and it will give the response to me. Okay. So that is what basically this class is doing. Okay. How can I use this actually? Okay. For example, I have my own class. Okay. So maybe just assuming that I have my another class. Uh, for example, I'm just taking as say my business logic class. Okay. So I'm just giving for you example. Okay. So for example, if you are working in a big organization, it will be not only like a simple two lines of code. It will be like at least 10 to 20 lines of code or um, like it is it minimum 10 to 20 lines of code. It will be there. It, it may be a big logic, right? But for example, I'm showing you with a single line of code. Okay. So for example, this is a calculator class, which is already created and I want to utilize this method features. How can I do that basically? So I have a class that is fine, but to utilizing those methods, basically what we need to do, we need to create an object of this calculator class. So how to create an object? I hope you know that if you see my earlier videos, otherwise see the object creation, the syntax is class name. Okay. The reference name, whatever name you want to give, you can give it. I'm just giving as OBJ. Okay. So equal to new class name of okay so what is this class name of so basically this is a empty constructor which is available in the calculator class okay but you cannot see that but it will be available internally okay so with the help of constructor only we can create a object okay make sure couple of make sure you are noting couple of points here actually so object is an instance of class that is the first point again with the help of object only we can use the calculator. I, I mean, we can use the class features. Okay. That is second point. The object creation syntax is class name, reference name equal to new class name of actually. Okay. So here actual object creation is happening with the help of new as well as the constructor keyword. The new keyword is helping us and the of calculator of this is the empty constructor. This is helping us to create the object. Okay. So hope you are clear. So these four points, make sure you are noting very clear about object. Okay. So I just created an object that is fine. How can I use these features? I want to use this, right? Let's try to do that. So object dot. If I give dot, you can see that whatever methods I have it. So I have an add method and I have a sub method. So other, other all methods are belongs to object class. Don't worry about it. So only add and sub method is or belongs to you as of now, the calculator class. Okay. So it is providing you clearly. So add method will accept two integer parameters. Okay. So object dot add, I can give it as maybe 10 comma 5. Okay. And 
I, I, I have another method called sub, right? So let me give it 20, comma 8. Just let just give it, okay? So and I try to get this value into one uh, integer. So that integer I can say say uh, 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 what we can say I can say say x, okay? And this here I am just assigning it to y basically, okay? Just a reference name, whatever you want you can give it. So and also I am trying to print those. Okay, I'm trying to print the added value is okay. I'm trying to print the x, right? And what I'm going to do the next print, I'm going to do the subtract value is okay. I'm just printing the y, okay? So basically, I have a calculator class which is having a couple of features to access those features. I need a object of this calculator class so from wherever my business class is there from there i'm creating the instance of a class it means object of a class so to create an object of a class this is the syntax okay so the class name reference name called new class name of then directly with the help of the reference name i can access all the methods i can access all the features which is available in the calculator class so i'm just accessing and it asks we are having two methods I'm just giving two values and trying to print it out actually. Let's try to run this program and let's see the output. So first output should be 15 and second output should be 12, right? So you can see here the output, right? So it is working as we are expecting, right? So hope you are clear with the stuff, right? Whatever I explained. So if you have any questions or if you need more clarification on any of the part, feel free to comment it in the comment section okay i will take it further okay thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye